In this video, we'll cover the complete hardware setup for Rescue's essential POS system. We'll cover requirements for getting started, setting up your iPad, assembling the stand, connecting your printer, connecting your card reader, and testing everything with the Rescue POS app. Requirements before starting setup. Before starting to assemble anything, scout the location you want to set up your POS station at to make sure you have the following. All the system components, the iPad, stand, printer, and card reader. Make sure there is sufficient access to power outlets. Make sure the cables are long enough to reach and everything is set up in a way where it cannot be easily unplugged. Separate Wi-Fi router for the POS. PCI requires a dedicated POS network that is separate from your office or guest Wi-Fi network. You don't need more than one internet drop, just a dedicated POS router. So make sure your POS router's Wi-Fi signal is strong. Avoid long distances and walls. Keeping within line of sight of where your Wi-Fi is broadcasting from is the best practice. Before setting up your iPad, you need to create an Apple ID specifically for your business. Do not use your personal Apple ID. Go to appleid.apple.com and click the link Create Your Apple ID. Fill in the information Apple requires and make sure to remember your password. This video assumes that you're using a new iPad in the shrink wrap. Note that all new iPads come with free Apple support for 90 days. You can reach Apple directly at 1-800-MY-APPLE. If you have any trouble in the setup process, you can contact Apple for assistance. When you turn on the iPad, you'll see the Hello screen, which starts the iPad setup. When it asks you to connect to Wi-Fi, make sure to choose your POS network. There are a few things that you need to be aware of when setting up your iPad for use as a POS. To avoid employees locking the iPad with incorrect attempts, do not enable the PIN, Face ID, or Touch ID. Do not set up Siri, and do not enable Apple Wallet. Choose Skip or Set Up Later in Settings when you get to those options. After you have completed the iPad setup process, you need to check a few more settings. Open the iPad Settings app and go to Display and Brightness. Make sure that Auto Lock is set to Never. Go to Wi-Fi Settings and make sure that it's set to your POS network. And turn off Ask to Join Networks. Stand Assembly To start, remove the stand from the box. There are written instructions included for your reference and a pack of screws. Angle the stand to slide out the rear brace. Note that one side of the brace has a cutout for the iPad charging cable. Lay the iPad in the stand. Reinsert the rear brace to secure the iPad in place. Secure the brace to the stand using the supplied screws. POS Receipt Printer Setup Plug in the printer to power. Insert a compatible roll of thermal paper. Press the power button to turn the printer on and check for the blue light. There are two ways to connect the printer. Direct connection via USB or wirelessly over Bluetooth. Note that the receipt printer can only connect to one POS iPad. For direct connection over USB, plug your iPad's charging cable into either the standard USB or USB-C port of the printer. In this configuration, the iPad will charge through the printer. For Bluetooth connectivity, 
Hold the power button for 5 seconds until the blue light turns off. Press and hold the power button for 7 seconds until the blue light is blinking. On the iPad, go to the Bluetooth settings and select the RPF10 printer, and it should now say connected. Cash drawer connection. If you purchased an automatic cash drawer, plug the drawer cable into the port of the printer indicated here. Card reader setup. The card reader uses an internal battery. Make sure to charge the card reader before setup. Press the power button on the card reader to turn it on. After it is booted, tap the settings icon. Go to network settings, Wi-Fi and choose your POS Wi-Fi, the same Wi-Fi network that your iPad should be already connected to. Once it's connected to Wi-Fi, tap the home button to exit settings. That's it for now. Install the Rescue POS app. Open the App Store. Search for Rescue, R-E-Z-K-U. and tap the Get button next to Rescue POS. Note that the first time you use the App Store with a new Apple ID, you will need to answer account questions and supply a credit card. Once you have entered the required information, you can now complete the download of the Rescue POS app. The first time you open Rescue, it will ask for Network. For Bluetooth connectivity, a registration code. Finalizing setup and testing. To finalize POS setup, contact Rescue Support. You will register your POS, assign and test your printers, and assign and test your card reader. Rescue Support is open 24 7 to answer your questions and provide assistance with a live agent. Thank you for watching this video.